Hello, Internet, so nice to see you. Now, some time ago, a student asked me, how do you count, how do you recognize complex time signatures when you are listening to a song? And the problem here is sometimes the song is too fast to count, okay? You can feel the rhythm of the song, you can clap on it, it's great, but it's simply too fast or too complex to count. Also, depending on what language you count, it could be a problem because in English, if you count up to six, you're fine because every number is a single syllable, no? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you get a problem because seven, it's two syllables. So uh, once I had a student, that's a funny story. Once I had a student that mm, was trying to count if uh, the, 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 the time signature of a song, and she was counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, she's like, it's in seven, eight, um, no, <laughs> it's, uh, it's in eight, if she count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that would be a more correct way to count, because, okay, um, actually, I have another funny story on, the, on this thing, um, I had a, a friend of mine was commissioned, once uh, to make music for a ballet teacher and the ballet teacher said i want all the music in three fourth and this friend of mine records 20 minutes of music in three fourths and then the ballet teacher called him back and like no this the, the, the tempo is wrong but you asked me the music in three quarters yes one two three e one two three e it's in four okay uh, anyway funny stories aside counting complex time signatures it may not be the easiest thing to do so I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna show you what I've answered to this uh, student of mine. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back here in the studio and I'm gonna demonstrate this with a couple of songs that have complex time signature. And with complex, I mean that they change time signature throughout the music, okay? I am humbled and thrilled by your depth of knowledge and your ability to teach. Lots of respect, thank you. I have a... Um... You're making me blush now. This is not going to look, look good on camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I understand time signatures and I can count them. However, when I'm listening to a song and it's something like an, uh, a complex time, can you expand on this? Because when I'm counting a song and it's a complex time, I end up getting lost very, very easily. And that's frustrating to me since I, I feel like I do know enough of this to where I should be able to do it. Okay. Here's the system I use, which is something I invented because it works for me. I hope it works for other people, okay? I tap the song. I tap the song with my fingers, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Thumb is one, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Index is two, three, four, five. Even if it's more, I keep counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then make sure that the thumb hits every one, every one in the bars, every every chord change. So tan 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 Okay. Oh, okay. And then I see at what finger I got, and that's the time signature. Thank you. That was simple. That's I honestly, when I started, I I couldn't count as fast to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. It's just too fast. Right. Words are too slow, so I, I need to have a physical counting system, okay? Now you can do this between the hands or on the table. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Especially if you're a piano player, you can imagine this. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, one, two, three. Or you can imagine playing a scale if you're a piano player. Some piano players play a scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Okay. And you see at what note you get before you have to go back at the beginning of the bar. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Okay. Good. That was easy to <laughs> Great question, by the way. Great question. Thank you. Absolutely appreciate it. <laughs> Very good. Okay, then let me demonstrate this in practice. I'm going to play a couple of songs, and then I'm going to be this ridiculous thing of tapping my fingers together, okay? Uh, I honestly feel really silly doing all that, but it works, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc., etc. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And the thing is, when I'm doing this, I'm not mentally counting. I'm just tapping the finger every time there is a beat, and then whenever I feel the accent, the next accent in the music coming, I'm going back to my thumb, okay? Um, and then I'm just looking at what, at what fingers I arrived, uh, and that, that, that's the time signature. So let me play 
this piece for you. Okay, so the time signature here is not constant, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna perform this right now. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing while I'm playing this again. So the first part, so in the first part, when, when I'm putting the accent on my thumb, I'm getting up to five. I'm getting up to the pinky, so it's one, two, three, four, five. And so this part, it's in five-fourth. And there are three bars of five-fourth. After that, the accent gets faster, and so I'm, I'm coming back to my thumb sooner, and I'm getting up to the middle finger, so now we have a few bars of three-fourths. Right, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can try and count with that. Uh, this piece is not particularly fast. So if you wanted to count, you could have counted. So let's see what happens when we count. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, 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 one. So again, this piece is not particularly fast. Let's, but still, it changes time signature from five to three. And with this system, again, it's much easier to count that. Let's see what happens when you have a much faster piece and a more complex chord progression. So you guys maybe know this piece. Okay, if you try to count here, it's pretty much hopeless. Let me let me try to count so you see exactly what's the problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one. I can do it. I can do it because I know the piece by heart. I can do it because I studied the piece. But if if I was to listen to this piece in real time and find the uh, for the first time, I mean, and find the time signatures, I'm not sure I would be able to count at that speed. Why with this finger system, it's much easier. Let's see how that works. Of course, if you just look at me doing this, it looks like nonsense. You have to do it yourself. So let me slow it down and break it down. The beginning is this one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two. Okay. Now attention because I'm tapping the accent on my thumb. And by the way, uh, you can also do this on, on, on the table, like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, okay? But anyway, let's come, let's, go, let's start again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and there are three bars of five, four, because the accent come back, come back on the thumb. Then you have those two accent, two, two fast accent, two, one, two, one, two. Not every time you have an accent, you need to break the bar. So in fact, this one, two, one, two, it's a single bar of four units, okay? Then there is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a bit harder when the first time you do it because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Okay? Or at least that's how I play. If you guys want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and come back with your ring finger or another finger that you can do too. The important point is that you get a consistent way of tap these so that you know, depending on what finger you stop, on what, at what number you are, okay? And um, so we have three bar of six, and then we have another one, two, one, two, which is again one bar of four. So the whole picture of this is three bars of five, eight, one bar of four, eight, three bar of six, eight, one bar of four, eight. And again, you can count these just by tapping 
with your hand. If you're a piano player, again, this is super natural to you. If you're a guitar player, it may not be natural, but give it a try. It's a game changer. You can go through all, through all the Dream Theater discography tapping this way, and you can identify all those um, strange time signature. And now, like every technique, it works great after you train it for a little bit. It may not work immediately, okay? If the, five, if the first five minutes you do it, it doesn't work, hmm, it can happen. But if you train it, it's gonna work. Make sense? Okay, so now we're getting to the end of this video and, um, you know, at this point it's kind of, kind of a professional ethic. I need to promote some of my stuff. Sorry, guys. So, um, if you guys are interested in getting better at guitar playing, get, getting better at music theory specifically for guitar, I have a couple of courses available. And today I'm recommending my course Complete Chord Mastery. This is if you want to learn chords, harmony, chord progression and make even simple chord progression sound like a million dollar. It's called Complete Chord Mastery. It's a complete course and all the theory is done straight on the fretboard, which is the great thing. It's not complex mathematics. It's everything is done here. There are exercises that you can do so that your hands know how to do harmony more than your brain. And so when you need that sound, you know where to find it. That's the holy grail of thing, not having to think about all this stuff, but just knowing where the sound is. And uh, of course, if you like this video, smash on that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube will not let you know when I'm putting up a new video. And I'm putting up a lot of new videos lately, so uh, you guys want to see them. So this is everything for today. This is Tommaso Zillia of Mystery4Guitar.com. And until next time, enjoy!